I'm actually working out of a closet right now. The dimensions of this room are only 5 feet wide by about 12 feet long. How do I go about putting everything in this place and still being efficient? Let's take a look at that. So there are two things that you need to keep in mind when putting together a home office slash gaming area or a content creation area. Some people tend to separate that. They have a separate gaming area. They have a separate work from home area. But if you're really limited on real estate, what can you do all you can do is put everything in one place and then go from there but how do you go ahead and organize that here behind me you can see that on top I put in a little 1080p TV and that's a 32 inch television that I have but it's connected to a Roku so if I ever want to watch news or something it's all in that one area where I can go ahead and access it then I have my two screens here and when I'm doing content creation or I'm creating any kind of YouTube videos I have those two monitors on the right hand side you can see I have this 144 Hertz monitor that I use for gaming so I have all of that stuff in this one small little area that's what you're gonna see is once you have all of those things in one little area you have to make the most of it uh, when I walk into this room what I did was I added shelves on one side adding shelves increases your real estate by making everything more modular so you have stuff sitting on the walls, whether it be your mic or it be uh, your laptop stand, anything else that you can use in order to make your area more efficient by the real estate that you have is gonna help you uh, down the road. The other thing is that you have to have a room that is isolated from noise. A lot of times when you're working in your room and you have uh, people who have families, kids, if they're running around the television is going on in the background it's really hard to concentrate so for that you have to sort of isolate that room from everyone else or all the other activities behind you and you can do that by uh, isolating your door and installing soundproof barriers and stuff the other thing i would recommend as far as hardware is concerned is when you find a keyboard find a keyboard that has bluetooth capability in it but also has the ability where uh, it directly connects to your computer. So if you have to switch back and forth between your uh, computer and your cell phone, uh, you can do that at this uh, push of a button. And that really makes it easy to go back and forth without having to pick up your cell phone and start texting and then you lose your train of thought. So that is one thing that you want to do. Uh, the other thing is uh, if you have uh, a Bluetooth speaker or you have a voice activated system within your area that all makes everything come together uh, I would say even put a refrigerator in there uh, as long as you don't have to leave your area go out and do anything you are uh, in that limited space and you can make the most of it set up you want to be in a place where you're not distracted too easily you want to go ahead and decorate that area whether it be stuff by uh, you can hang on the wall or you can do it with your desktop wallpaper something that makes it appealing just like you go to work every day and you have a office area over there which is appealing and you want to go and work uh, just like that a work from home setup needs to be something similar Okay, now let's talk about monitors. When you go ahead and get monitors, make sure they have lots of ports in them. And by ports, I mean display ports, HDMI. The more things you can hook up to your monitor, the easier it is to transition back and forth from your work from home setup to a personal desktop or a laptop. And nowadays they have KVM switches, which you can push and it transfers all of the USBs that you have on one computer to all of the other USBs on the other computer. So that makes transitioning really smooth and you can uh, achieve a lot more by doing that. What about the lighting in your work from home area? Now the lighting I would recommend is you need to have a dimmer switch installed in your area so if you do need to have those lights come down a little bit in order to you know, help you focus more, I would recommend you go ahead and install that in your area and make it a little bit more easier on your eyes when you're looking at stuff. 
on your displays there is an eye saver mode have that activated at times when you're working uh, that helps with eye strain uh, and uh, moving around but talking about a limited area and a limited workspace that you have in order to accomplish all of that stuff make sure that you're you you have some mobility or you have some area to work around where you can get up walk around stretch your legs for a little bit so it might not be a really big area that you have but you should have at least enough room where you're not tripping over stuff and you're not constantly falling down all of the items that you need if they're all in one place uh, i think that is the best work area some people might call it um, a man cave or some people might call it uh, you know a place where you would just uh, confine yourself and th the main thing is if you have a, a whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you're doing a side hustle or if you have a full-time job and you come home and you're working, if you have an area where you can consistently focus, look at getting things done in a very short amount of time, you have to have an area where you have a ability to concentrate for long periods of time. And the way I think about doing that is if you don't leave that work area for whatever needs, other than going to the restroom, then that area would be the optimum solution. So in that area, if you have everything, whether it be gaming, whether it be um, a TV, whether it be uh, a phone set up, your cell phone, uh, if you have everything in that area, even a refrigerator to eat and stuff, then you don't need to go out, wander off from that area and uh, look for other things. Having plants uh, in your work area is really important, uh, especially if you're going to be spending, spending uh, lots of time in that work area. Just by looking at green things uh, or items that uh, have a green color tend to have this calming effect. I once read a study where they talked about patients who ha were recovering from surgery had a window in their um, hospital uh, area and if the window opened out to a green yard or an area where there was a green tree they tended to recover faster than the patients that did not have that so having just that little green greenery whether it be a fake plant or it be a real plant uh, it sort of helps with that inner uh, person with, with that inner human element inside you um, and you could even have a, a goldfish or an aquarium in your area. Anything that helps you be more calm and at peace with the area you're in. Uh, as humans, we're really not um, designed to be around uh, technology all the time. We find peace in nature and elements around us. So the more you can make the area aesthetically into uh, an area where you're surrounded by nature, by plants, by um, animals or pets, uh, the more at peace you're gonna find yourself uh, in that area. So today we looked at, if you have a small work space uh, like I do, and you need to do content creation, you need to work from home, or you need to have your office area for anything else, uh, you can go ahead and set that up with those limited uh, items that you have available uh, and make the most of it. One thing that I see is even though the area that I'm in is so small, uh, you have to create a depth inside it. And how you create a depth is you do that by either using technology. So with wide angle lenses, that is really good. You can do that uh, if you're doing content creation. Uh, and the other thing you can do is if you want to have the perception of a bigger space, you utilize the space uh, very wisely. So have everything very organized. It be laid out. The more room that you have on your desk, the better it is for doing. So guys, uh, thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video and we'll come back for more in the future. Thank you.